All right, Shalom. First up, step by step, I'll pray to see how about Shemal Shai, by Shemal Kakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Now, this is a uh, article on, uh, well, on Wikipedia, martial law. It says martial law is the imposition of direct military control of normal civilian functions by a government, especially in response to a temporary emergency such as invasion or major disaster or an occupied territory. Martial law can be used by governments to enforce their rule over the public, as seen in multiple countries listed below. Such incidents may occur after a coup d'etat, uh, when threatened by popular protests, uh, China, um, <laughs> Tiananmen Square protests of 1989-2009 Iranian Green Movement that led to the takeover by revolutionary guards to suppress political opposition Poland in 1981 or to stabilize insurrections or perceived insurrections. Canada, the October crisis of 1970. Martial law may be declared in case of major national uh, it's like a major natural disasters. However, most countries use a different legal construct, such as a state of emergency, in which that's what uh, Trump them have used. Also, the fact that these people are going to start rioting or taking matters into their own hands because of uh, them having to stand in the house or because they believe that they're not going to catch the virus, you know. Um, or, or whatever reason they might have to keep them outdoors and do what they want to do and uh, just uh, bluntly disregard what they said about the virus and all of that is one of the main reasons why they got these troops in these cities because um, ultimately they're trying to bring it in this new world order and they're getting the troops in place. But the fact that the people don't want to stay in these houses and listen, it's, it's going to further help them for their agenda. So the people are really going to help them uh, for their agenda. You know, besides these, uh, uh, besides, uh, these um, celebrities and stuff trying to push for everybody to stay in their homes and all that because they're part of the order. You know, but everything is going to court according to plan. Esau already had this planned out a while ago. So, everybody who don't know is just falling into their plans, their plots, the plan. People being, uh, uh, going outside, doing what they want to do. It's helping them and giving them a reason to bring them troops in. But, you know, it was all a plan regardless. This is Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. Right, so they devise this whole pandemic situation. Uh, they're shutting down the cities more and more, shutting down the jobs more and more, put, putting the troops in place. Now the people are uh, slowly but surely starting to re rebel and everything. They've been doing everything gradually. And, you know, but the people rebelling might even just be a the provocateurs too rebelling so that they, they can enforce using these troops in these cities you know besides what they're telling us of them not being used you know 
But it says, uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 1, Woe to them that devise iniquity, uh, destruction, unto the, the elites, man, and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light. They practice it because it's in the power of their hand, right? So they got the money. They got the think tanks. They got the power. They got the troops. And they have been using them, you know? This is a Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, talking about you people. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right? Esau knew he had a short time. That's why he passed all the legislations to put everything in place. Declared uh, the, the, under the Patriot Act. Um, under, um, declaring everybody that they were... Um, enemy combatants, you know, so, uh, so on and so forth, for all the legislations that they have passed, you know, to put everything in motion, they are, they are able to call martial law in peace times, you know, they laid the, they already used the pen, put everything in place as far as uh, having it legally on the books, now they moving in action, they showing you the action, man, and those that rebel is going to help them clamp down even more, you know. But this is all through the spirit and power you have by Shemar Shai to bring in the real new world order, which is the uh, ushering of end of Jacob's kingdom. Or you have by Shemar Shai's kingdom, and then the Israelites ruling with him. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 6, it says, Then did I consider these things, and they were made through me alone. And through none other, by me also shall they be ended, and, and by none other, right? So the Lord got the control of these times and stuff. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting or sin of the times, and what shall be the end of the first, and the beginning of it that followeth? At the end of Esau world, the beginning of Jacob's world that cometh after. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. And that's the process we're going through now, bringing down the lies of Esau, man. But soon, once we get taken off them corners, it's a wrap for the rest, of, for the rest, for the, for the two thirds, because that's when the Lord going to uh, uh, turn everything up. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So everything that we see happening now, and them bringing this new world order, really is really the ending of their kingdom and the bringing in of Jacob's kingdom. Which Jacob represents the 12 tribes of Israel, man. The second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, which the signs is talking about the prophecies, we watch the prophecy happen right in front of our face. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? The Lord has been visiting this place by way of uh, uh, destruction, etc. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we see that on a daily basis, they just had an earthquake in Croatia, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and the uproars of the people in the world, we see that happening all, all the time. We turn on the news media and we watch um, the news media of all the overseas nations, but it's going to come here because the people are being disobedient, and uh, this whole lockdown situation can actually uh um uh birth the uh, race riots or riots in general or seditions it says therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for like as 
all that is made in the world has the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. And the end is being manifested by way of prophecy. And that's what we see going on. That's why everything is turning out the way it's turning out. <clears throat> Uh, with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson. Uh, all praise to Yahweh Shemal Shai, Yahweh Shemal Kakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.